from disabling these Windows visual options to change in specific Fortnite settings. Here are 10 quick tips to boost your FPS on any low end PC. If it helps, please drop a like, subscribe to the channel and use my code in the item shop. And now let's start off with services. In the search, simply type in services and click on the first app. Then we're gonna simply scroll through and find some useless services to disable like Bluetooth service support, for example. Literally right click on it, go on the properties, select the startup type by default, it's manual. You want to simply disable it, then click apply and OK. Another one is connected devices platform service. Again, right click on it, go into properties, go into service type and then disable it like so, apply and OK. Another one is connected user experiences and telemetry. Right click on it, go into properties, change the startup type from automatic to disabled, click apply and OK. The next one is downloaded maps manager. Yet again, properties and make sure to disable that one, apply and OK. Another is windows inside a service, you know the drill properties then go ahead and switch that to disable apply and ok and the last one is windows mobile hotspot service this is another useless one we can go ahead and disable just don't forget to apply and press ok next fortnite high priority while the game itself is open if you press Control, shift and escape to open task manager then inside processes type in fortnite if you find it, right click on it, then go to details. You should see the top one is selected. Simply right click on it and set the priority from the default normal too high. It'll confirm if you want to change the priority. After, you'll see that if we go back into the set priority, it's now on high, which will make the game a higher priority for Windows, which should in turn give a performance boost. Next, visual settings. Inside the start bar, type in adjust the appearance, and this setting right here should appear. Inside visual effects, you'll notice by default, it lets Windows choose what's best for my computer, but we don't want to use that one. Instead, you want to adjust it for best performance, and you'll notice that it actually unchecks all of these settings. However, some of them are essential. There's actually five in total. The first one is animations in the taskbar. The second one is save taskbar thumbnail previews. The third one is show thumbnails instead of icons. Fourth one is show window contents while dragging. And the fifth one is smooth edges of screen font. Don't forget to click apply and OK. Next, system notifications. Inside the settings, under system, if you scroll down to notifications. Inside the first tab, you want to select it and uncheck allow notifications to play sounds show notifications on the lock screen and show reminders, then tick the top one as well. Scrolling down from that, if you go to the bottom where it says additional settings, also make sure to uncheck all of these three right here. And what that'll do is it'll stop windows from popping up those notifications that can cause FPS stutters. Next, low end stretch res. Inside the video settings under windowed mode, ensure that full screen is selected and not windowed full screen or windowed, as these other two right here give you heavy input delay and can cause FPS drop. While using full screen, make sure your resolution is a stretched resolution like 1280 by 1080 or 1024 by 768. Using one of these will give around 40% extra FPS. You'll also benefit from having bigger looking player models that can in turn improve your aim. And to set it up, it's really simple. Just go into your Fortnite config file. Simply change these two sections right here to your desired res. If you need more help, you can check out any of these two tutorials on screen that I'll link in the description below. Next, perform performance power plan. Inside the search, type in power plan like so, and then you should be able to click the edit power plan. You then want to click on change advanced power settings. And by default, you'll notice that the balanced power plan is active. Instead of using this one, we want to choose the high performance one, which as you can imagine, has the settings to boost performance. Just don't forget to apply the settings and press OK. Next, rendering mode. Back inside the video settings, under rendering mode, you do not want to use DirectX 12, or DirectX 11, you wanna use performance mode. As what this'll do is it'll lower the graphical fidelity of your game, but it'll give you a huge FPS boost. Just make sure to pair that up with lower meshes to get even more FPS. Also, don't forget to go into the Fortnite install options. Don't forget to uncheck high resolution textures as well as DirectX 12 shaders, as both of these are unnecessary if you're using performance mode. And you'll also save like 18 gigabytes of storage. Next, we've got game bar. Inside the settings tab, under where it says game 
gaming. At the top, there'll be a game bar setting. You want to make sure that this has been disabled. In addition, under captures, make sure under recording preferences, you uncheck all of these settings. And also under game mode, I actually recommend turn this on as what it does is it optimizes your PC for play by turning things off in the background, which I think is quite valuable. So I like to have this turned on. After that, if you go into graphics, under change default graphics settings, if you have a low end PC, I highly recommend taking off the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling setting as although they do state it reduces latency and improves performance I don't think this is the case on lower end PCs yes I think it's great on mid to high end PCs but when it comes to low end PCs I definitely recommend turn this off then restart your PC. Next, extra game options. In the game settings tab, if you scroll down to extra game options, you firstly want to uncheck Nvidia highlights as well as peripheral light. And in addition to that, under where it says replays, you want to uncheck record replays, record large team replays, record creative replays, and also disable record high quality replays. You can also uncheck the energy saving options. There's two right here. And under sound, if you scroll down to sound quality, change this to low. As Fortnite state with low, you may get an increase in performance. Next, you want to update your GPU drivers. To do this, simply search advanced display like so and click view advanced display info. Now, firstly, at the bottom, you want to choose your refresh rate and make sure it's the highest one possible. And after that, under display information, you'll see your monitor and it'll be connected to your graphics card. Now, for your graphics card, you want to see the brand, which mine right here is NVIDIA. Once you've got the brand, type it in, followed by GPU software. See, for NVIDIA, it's GeForce Experience which you can go ahead and download. Once inside, you can go ahead and check for the latest driver, which has the newest bug fixes and latest optimizations. Next, we've got temporary files. On your desktop, press the Windows key and R. Then in the run box here, you want to type in any of these three commands in this box. All three work and you're going to do them one after the other. As an example, I'm going to just type in temp right here. And here is all your temporary files that are pretty much useless. Just press Control A, select them all then click delete, then click do this for all current items and click skip. Some can't be deleted, that's fine, you just want to do this for each three of these commands on screen. Just to prove the work, here's prefetch and here's all the temporary files you can delete. Next, verify files. Inside the Epic Games Launcher, go into library under Fortnite where the three dots are, then simply verify the files. This shouldn't take long at all and it'll just make sure that all your files are working correctly, they're all updated and it could very well boost your performance. And that right there is how you boost your FPS if you're on a low-end PC. If it helped out, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and use my code in the item shop. As well as that, before you go, feel free to check out any of my other videos on screen right now.